Welcome back, everyone. Well, I'm here with Gene Reynolds this morning, who is our expert on infant immunization. And Gene, you're here at a great time because it's actually the 20th anniversary of the National Infant Immunization Week and a, a great topic to talk about. I know you have, have a lot of, of knowledge on this topic for people this right, morning. Right. I've been a public health nurse for about 20 plus years in Marquette <laughs> County and I'm currently the Michigan Department of Community Health <laughs> Immunization Field Rep <laughs> for the Upper Peninsula. So that's, that's, why a like that's a mouthful. That's why I let you <laughs> yeah. say it. I figured yeah. you could handle it better <laughs> yeah. than I could. Yeah. Now, um, getting into immunization, now a lot of people, of course, um, lately there's been outbreaks. Now, mm -hmm. I know not all due to immunization, but mm -hmm. you say it p partially is, right? Um, outbreaks, no, not necessarily. Oh, but right. back, back to um, National Infant Immunization Week, that actually came into existence about 20 years on the heels of an outbreak. There was a huge measles outbreak in the, in the United States, and they... Um, wanted to highlight the importance of vaccinating infants in Im um, and measles as an infant immunization, measles vaccine is, and also they wanted to, um, they actually found that um, people didn't understand the achievements of immunizations throughout the country and they found also that kids were not always, um, immunizations were not accessible to all children, mm -hmm. so at the same time as the immunization week was created, they also created a vaccines for children program in our country and that um, made immunizations accessible to all kids, which they found that on the heels of this outbreak, immunizations were not accessible to all kids. Okay, so. now a lot of people kind of worry about getting infants um, Im immunized, immunized yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, because of, you know, there's a lot of different concerns. Mm -hmm. Now, w would you say that the benefits outweigh those risks? Oh, I definitely would say the benefits outweigh the risks. In my 20 plus years of being a public health nurse at Marquette County Health Department, I've personally not seen any problems with immunizing, but I know there's a lot of fear out there with people and parents, but we just really hope they talk to their health care providers mm -hmm. about their fears. Um, don't just hop on the internet and look at things because those are not always accurate. The <laughs> stories that you see on the internet are not always accurate. So we hope that they talk to their health care providers, talk to their um, local health departments. Um, there's uh, registered nurses. There is a health department in every county in the Upper Peninsula, except for one, the Keweenaw. <laughs> but there are local experts that you can talk to all over the place. All right, and uh, now this is kind of a, a question out of curiosity. Is there ever a time where it becomes too late to become immunized? There is never a time that it's too late, no. Uh, all right. Even if you did not receive your immunizations as an infant, you can catch up later in life. Well, perfect. So, mm -hmm. so um, an, a great time to have our expert in here, oh, uh, Gene, Gene <laughs> Reynolds, uh, talking about um, the, as the 20th anniversary of Infant Immunization Week mm -hmm. um, kicks off here. So get out there and like Gene says, go talk to the, your, your experts. Your as local we, experts, uh, yes. your, As we yeah. got to talk to ours this morning. <laughs> And um, get out there and find out more about this for yourself. And uh, like Gene said, maybe don't believe everything you see on the Internet. That's right. And um, before we go to break, we'll take a check in with Ashley Kirkland, who's talking about a fun summer activity. Get you excited for some warmer weather.